Tiffany has a 1989 Gen 3 Camaro. She bought it from a friend of her brother's almost 20 years ago. Tiff drove it for a while, but then it broke down on her. She dragged it from place to place. She wouldn't sell it and she couldn't fix it. She's kept it all this time. Tiffany is such a loyal friend to us. She's also a member of our Scoot and Savages all-girl scooter club. Please help us get that Camaro back on the road so she can give us all a ride. All right, Bogey, I kind of got a feeling that this week it is up both our albums. Yeah, we've got totally. a 1989 Camaro <laughs> IROC Z, and we've got the Scootin' Savages. Yes. What more could you ask for? <laughs> so they're like a, a scooter gang, like an all chick scooter gang. That is awesome. I think it's freaking awesome. And I just love that it's a, a woman owner. Yeah, um, Tiffany, you know, she seems pretty cool. Yeah. You know, but the Savages are the one that submitted the video for her. And now this is a car that she had got from her brother's friend. And her brother all along was supposed to help her get this car up and running. Mm. Well, he didn't. It's been eight <laughs> or nine years since it has run, so that is not a good thing. No, she's had the car for 20 years. It was kind of falling apart. It wasn't really running well. And then she decides to enter a burnout contest <laughs> anyway. <laughs> totally puts the nail in the coffin, and it's been sitting there ever since. <laughs> so, SAS is at a high level. We got an IROC Z Camaro. What more could you ask for? We're about to find out. Sorry for that whip turn I made on you back there. <laughs> what were you doing in 1989, dude? Mm. I got to no, ask. Nothing good. Nothing? <laughs> I was riding a dirt bike thing. I was meeting this Travis Pastrana. Yeah, how'd that, that work out for you? did not go well. No. no. I've wrecked too many times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. So good. Hey. Hey. How, are how are you? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Bruno, Bogey, Joe. Tiffany. Hi. Tiffany, we are excited to come out because you have an 89 Camaro IROC Z. Yes. Awesomeness. So tell us a little bit about the car. Um, it's my dream car. But she needs a little TLC, so I'm so happy you guys are here. Well, we're excited too, but Bogey's for a whole different reason. Yeah, totally. So this like badass scooter gang that you have, yes. come <laughs> on now. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so there's about like 24 of us in the area. You're more than welcome to join. Ooh, yes, yeah. we can do it. Yeah. No, 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 you guys have to do girls. initiation. What? Come yes, on. Yes, yes. Hey, I've turned down some pretty badass biker gangs, but I'm willing to try, Bruno, if you yeah. are. Yeah, I'm like, it's like blood in, blood out. I mean, what's, what's the initiation? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, oh. oh. all right. I like this. All right, how about we pop up the door, take a look at your yes, car? Yes, please. I'm dying to find out what this initiation is. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get to know her first. It might be scary. <laughs> all right. This is Tiffany's like dream car. She's held on to it for forever. But when the garage door opens up and we get our eyes on this thing, you wouldn't really have known it from looking at it. I mean, there's mold growing on the side of it. It has definitely been sitting for far too long. The <laughs> all American girls red IROC Z T tops animal. So, Joe, this is the car I wanted. What are you trying to say? Well, Why does it have to be a girl's car? Right? Why does it, it's it Joe? It's lipstick red. It's a rest me red. But you know what, look at typical old school yeah. clear coat oh, from God, the yeah. 80s. Look it's at it, it's wretched. Rough. There's like stuff growing on it. They look like <laughs> barnacles. I mean, was this yes. thing in the in the bottom of a lake? <laughs> oh, okay, do, do, do I dare? Yes, yeah. we gotta see this. Shag carpet. Oh, oh hi. Oh. Hey, it's custom. That look at this big format. Could you give me a set for my Camaro? <laughs> yeah, you can borrow them. That's awesome. I just want them back. The T-tops could use a little love, so could that carpet could use and the paint. Well, it looks like a nasty interior that needs a whole lot of work. All right, do we dare? We got, we got okay. it. Yeah. We got it. Better no time. Might need to adjust those hinges. That. Back in the day, tune port injection was all of that in a bag of chips. <laughs> you need to go back in time a little, Joe. You just appreciate the awesomeness of what you're looking at. It, but it was slow. <laughs> <laughs> it said IROC Z on the side, Joe. <laughs> Didn't you mention this car overheated at? Times? Yes, it did. Okay. Do we know why it was overheating? No, it's a really good question. You okay. know, I think the burnouts would have fixed that. Did it? Did it? Oh, he did. No. It's normally See? how it works. If I get stuck having to paint this thing, well, I'm not gonna have time to build an engine. So wait a minute. Does, does, does it run? Do not right now. You waited too long to answer. No, I'm stressed out. I, I need some man answers. Maybe it's the hornet's nest or yeah, the deer whistle. I don't know. I know. So the goal for this car was simply to get it back to as close as we could to how it would be when it came off the showroom floor. But to get to that point, it's a lot of work. All right, All right. I said we call the guys and get them yeah. over here. Let's do it. Got a lot of work to do. Bam! I thought, hey, this would be fun for me. Just take this <laughs> stuff off the van. My dad had a really old Camaro when I was like a toddler. All I think I said was, 
red car, red car, and I wanted to sit in it. And so since then, I fell in love with the Camaros generation. And then my brother's best friend had um, this 89 red Camaro. He would park it at our house. And even before it was mine, I would take photos of it. And luckily, he sold this exact one and sold it to me. I drove it for a couple years, but then I had some problems and there was a burnout contest. Even though the car wasn't running very well, I jumped the battery, burned the rubber off the tires, and just parked it right after. And that's when it sat for the next 10 years. No one's had the guts to go backwards. You want to be the first? No. No. Do not, <laughs> do not play first. Into Tiffany loves this Camaro, and I don't blame her. It's like iconic. It's like an 80s IROC Z. It's red, T tops. It's like the perfect car. <laughs> Got to admit, she stuck to her guns, and she had faith that someday she's going to figure out a way to get this thing up and running again. So you probably wonder why I'm not so worried about this paint job, and that's because we have a bogey. Wait, so what? she's going to do all the work. How come Love I it. always get voluntold for like the worst projects? All right, beyond the body work, we got to do some work in the interior as well. We got to clean it up and new carpeting for sure. And we still don't know if this engine is even good. I mean, we got to figure out what's going on with the overheating issue. Let's face it, the biggest thing here is about the cosmetics. So if we're going to go ahead and do a paint job, we got to do something about wheels mm. and tires, maybe <laughs> update a little bit. You don't like those? Bigger At wheels. least the IROC wheels are bigger. Yeah. We definitely have to address the T-tops as well because they look a little meh, and I've got a feeling those seals aren't as good as they, or as they should be. And definitely it is two poor injection that has been sitting forever, so I'm sure it's going to need a little bit of flushing going on in that fuel system. Yeah, absolutely. we got a ton of work to do on this car. Do you mention exhaust or brakes? No, let's not. <laughs> let's, we're just going to, no. <laughs> this list is long Hard enough, no. Bruno. <laughs> Hard no. All right, I say first thing we do is get this thing outside, get a power wash. Yes, amen So you can start sanding. Aw, yay me! Don't you love me, Joey? I love having a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I have met a community of women that I love and adore, and we started up this scooter gang. We support one another, we love one another, and we know a lot about each other. So with me, they all know that I have this passion for my car. We really wanted to help her because she helps everybody else. We don't want to scratch the paint, let it air dry. Yeah. <laughs> so we reached out to you guys in hopes that her dream would finally come true. Okay, all right, we'll leave them there. You got that one? Mm -hmm. All right. Trying to get this stupid lip off because it don't want to come off. Wait a minute, she might get yeah, it. Oh, Hold oh, on, here it comes. Whoa, bogey! I was so excited to see the team show up. It was surreal, it was exciting. I can't believe that they were at my house to begin with, and I couldn't wait to start. All right, girl, you said you were going to help out on this, right? Yes. You ready I'm to so jump excited. in? Yeah. All right, you want to buzz these wheels off? Yeah, show me what to do. And Absolutely. Do All right, come on down. I always love when the owners get involved in the build, and Tiffany was no exception. I mean, she was really anxious to get involved in this. Just set it in there all the way. You don't want to be halfway out. You want to be all the way in, and then just push your trigger. Awesome. You got this. She's like my spirit animal. <laughs> all about girl power, girl gang, and I love it. You just want to pop it off? There you go. Okay. All right. Three more to go. You got this? Got it. All right. Beautiful. I keep my rhythm slow. I move my head. I move my hand to the tempo. 